Generators start out in our warehouse. We get them in, we inspect them. Then we take a gen pad and essentially wrap it to the top of the unit. So these are all ready to be delivered. Um, these are all ready to be delivered. And, you know, unfortunately it's, you can automate only so much because um, you still have to pick it up, put it on a trailer and deliver it out to the customer. We tried many options in terms of delivery um, and we use a company that drops them off at customers locations and then we come in and put them in place. Um, these are some we're going to be doing ourselves. Um, and uh, we'll show you how we take it off the trailer, put it on a gen pad, level the gen pad, which is extremely important and uh, get it all working. So Doug is setting up a pad right now. Um, we do what we have to do to level the pad. And in this case, we have to add concrete blocks, which we then glued to the uh, gen pad. So basically those two concrete blocks underneath it become one and the pad is completely leveled in all um, all departments and uh, it's good to go and it's very important because the generator has to be completely level so believe it or not just even putting a pad down has to be done to precision um, for the long-term health of the uh, generator add some paver base around it um, but when we're done and the generator's on the pad, um, you know, you can obviously landscape around it as long as we can still get behind the unit um, to service it as needed. Uh, that's fine. And I'll take another video in a moment uh, with the uh, generator on top. Then the generator is put on a special cart that has wheels and we connect the generator uh, to the car and essentially in theory one person should be able to roll this by themselves and since I'm busy filming Doug's gonna have to do this to so I'm gonna jump in right now. and now we're back at the pad we're gonna have to spin this around and uh, actually go from bottom and push it up come in to help okay, the car is essentially dismantled around the generator and the generator now sits on the gen pad. Doug is going to uh, line up the generator with the holes that are in the gen pad and actually mount and connect the generator to the gen pad. And the truck has everything we need. Um, bricks, various height bricks, um, solid bricks, hollow bricks, paver, base, pea gravel, um, glue, Basically everything we need to uh, do a really nice generator um, installation with the pad. Okay, so Doug is bolting the generator down to the concrete pad. And that way the two pieces become one. Um, and essentially together it's a 600 pound situation and we'll put the uh, front panel on and the skirt so the front panel is now back on we take that off so in the process of carting the generator the cart doesn't scratch um, the front panel and now the skirt is being put on there we have it Another beautiful installation by the maestro, Doug Morgan. Now, even though the uh, land was pitched uh, slightly, yeah, just a little bit more than slightly, the generator cannot be pitched. Uh, oil needs to flow to all the cylinders. And if, uh, if it is pitched, oil will not flow and uh, there'll be a big problem. All right, that's how you uh, put a generator on a gen pad.